Hello everyone, this is Grade 3 Science with teacher Benizia from Woodrose International School. Today, we are going to continue our study of materials and our focus is going to be on uses of materials. We've said that materials are used to make a variety of objects and that materials have many different properties. Now, the properties that a material has make it good for making some objects, but not good for other objects. Let's look at some examples. We have wood. Wood is a material that is strong and hard, and it's easy to use it to make chairs, bookcases, tables. We have plastic. Plastic is a material that is strong and it's also waterproof. So it's good for making bottles, bins, and raincoats. We have metal. Metal is a material that is strong, that does not burn, and can be shaped into sharp objects. So it's good for making scissors, pens, knives, forks, and spoons. Like I've said before, some materials are good for making some objects, but not good for other objects. And when a material is good or adequate for an object, we call it a sensible material. But when it's bad or inappropriate for an object, we call it a silly material. Let's take the case of a cooking pan. Metal is a sensible material for a cooking pan because metal is a material that does not burn and it also conducts electricity. So it's appropriate for cooking. But can you imagine a cooking pan made of wood? Wood would be a silly material for a cooking pan because wood burns. So if we make a cooking pan from wood, then the cooking pan would burn down in the process of cooking. Now, let's take the example of a window. Glass would be a sensible material for making a window because glass is transparent. And if we make a window from glass, then we can see through this window and light can come in through this window. But if we made a window from stone, that would be silly because stone is not transparent. Here is another example of a sensible and a silly material. Cotton would be a very sensible material for a t-shirt because cotton is soft and cotton is flexible. But metal, on the other hand, would be silly for a t-shirt because metal is rigid. So a t-shirt made of metal would not be comfortable at all. It's important to understand that metal is not a bad material in itself. It's just not appropriate for a t-shirt. It is important to remember that materials can be used for some objects, but not for other objects. That means that materials can be good, they can be appropriate for some objects, but they can be totally inadequate for other objects. And what a material is used for depends on the properties that that specific material has. Are the properties going to be good for the object that we want to make or no? Knowing the properties of a material helps us decide what material to use for which object. This is all for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.